Mm -hmm. So I just picked up my daughter from school and decided to just go for my walk right now. It's also a nice day outside. Um, earlier it was cloudy, now it got sunny, and I'm wearing a jacket and it's hot. I'm not even too sure why. Also, I've been like getting more sleep, but sometimes I, I'm sleeping too much, and when I sleep too much, um, I do get headaches. If I don't sleep enough, I still get headaches. But if I just get like eight hours of sleep, I'm perfectly fine.
Okay, so I'm home now. Um, so I want to talk about how does sleep affects um, anxiety. For me personally, if I get, let's say, six to eight hours of sleep throughout the night, waking up maybe once, um, I'll feel perfectly fine in the morning. Um, however, if I sleep, like, you know, if I fell asleep and I woke up, every two hours maybe um i wake up i'm gonna feel sick you know like my body's like will feel tired um even more tired you know when you have anxiety you you're already feeling tired no matter how no matter how much hours of sleep you get but um when i sleep eight hours i don't feel as tired i feel more energized but let's say if i sleep and i woke up every every two hours or so um so if i sleep for eight hours but i'm not sleeping eight hours straight i'll wake up like four or five times maybe um once i wake up in the morning when how when it's time for me to wake up in the morning my anxiety is going to spike up because um i'm forcing my my tired body to stay up when i only got when I didn't get enough sleep, you know, it's like every two hours waking up and you're trying to sleep eight hours, that's like waking up four times, you know, so your body's going to get tired, you know, um, especially when you have anxiety. Um, and if I sleep during the day, um, you know, meaning like during the day, let's say I woke up at 6 a.m. and then I went back to sleep around 10 o'clock and then I woke up at 11 o'clock. I'm going to wake up with a headache. Uh, if I fell asleep at, say, 4 or 5 p.m. and wake up at 6 p.m., I'm going to have a headache and I'm going to have a hard time sleeping at night. You know, and if I'm sleeping and it's cold and then I wake up and, and it's nice and sunny and warm, um, it affects me as well. Um, like I mentioned, you know, the weather affects our anxiety, our mood and stuff like that. So, um, it's not as bad as it used to be, which is good for me. Now I'm like, you know, if it's sunny, I'm going to be happy. If it's raining, I'm still happy. You know, if it's cold, hot, whatever it is, um, I'm not going to let the, um, the weather affect me in any way, you know, it's, What's the point of like complaining about oh it's too hot and then when and you don't want to go out and then when it's too cold and then you're gonna say oh it's too cold to go out you know uh, oh it's hot and you know it's it's 2 p.m. I'll go out tonight and then later tonight you're gonna say oh tonight it's already late so it's like you're making excuses just to have an excuse not to go out you know um, I was like that and then when I was doing that this this caused me more depression more anxiety but. Once I start walking around when it was hot, you know, last last May 2017, you know, I slowly got used to going outside. I got used to being out in the in the heat again. And then once spring was over, fall came along, and then I I was gonna say to myself, Oh no, it's fall. How am I gonna feel? Am I gonna like the cold weather and stuff? But after a while, you get used to it. Um, but as for sleeping, you know, you just have to try to manage your sleep schedule that works for you. Whatever works for you, stick with it, you know, meaning stay away from any screens, computer, laptop, whatever, at least an hour before you sleep. Anyways, that's pretty much it, and I'm about to head inside.